Well, imagine an event with a speaker lineup as varied as a farmer, a technologist, an economist, an entrepreneur, a designer, and a researcher. Well, now imagine the theme centered all around farming. Well, that's exactly the event that TEDx Johannesburg is hosting next week. Uh, with us to tell us more about this interesting mix of speakers is organizer Kelo Kubi. A very good morning to you, Kelo. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Mm -hmm. Essentially, what is TEDx? What is the aim of TEDx? Okay, I think in its essence, it's about celebrating ideas. So TEDx started as an offshoot of a TED conference, which is an annual conference that happens in Canada. It's owned by a global NGO that's dedicated to spreading ideas. So we are one of 2,000 events that happen globally. And yes, at the core of it is looking for people doing interesting things, mm -hmm. and we share the ideas and hopefully inspire other people. Now there's two events, there's uh, TEDx and there's TED Talks. What is the difference essentially between the two? So TED Talks come from the mother brand which is TED. Okay. Um, they host two conferences annually and um, the talks that come out of that is what most people get on their apps. Um, if you have a smartphone you probably have a TED app and mm -hmm. this is where people get these talks that are filmed at a conference that happens actually next month, yearly April. And TEDx is what happens globally in different cities. So these are locally organized. Um, the people who organize them do not necessarily, they don't work for TED. It's a group of volunteers. So I'm part of a group of volunteers who are Johannesburg based. Okay. And every year we organize events based on various themes that we think are current and are relevant for our part of the world. And now, why farming? And why farming in, in Johannesburg? Why not in, in areas where, you know, one would essentially expect farming talks or farming innovation um, hubs to take place? Yes, I think the interesting thing about farming and food is that we all eat <laughs> <laughs> every single day. We all love but food. <laughs> yes, but we actually never spend time thinking about where does it come from. Okay. And I think globally we've come to a place where farming happens somewhere mm -hmm. and I just need to pop into Woolies and um, get my food. But there's actually a lot that goes into agriculture and farming that's starting to happen closer to where we live, which is in cities. Mm -hmm. And living in Johannesburg, and I think particularly living on the African continent, we felt that it's the right time to just talk about what happens when farming happens in Johannesburg, or what happens when climate change makes farming in the Western Cape not possible. So that's really where mm. the idea came from to say, Hmm, let's talk about farming in Bramfontein. What would that look like? Okay, and there seems to be a culmination of, of different types of people that are going to be um, attending the talks. Take us through, uh, if you can, just briefly, the lineup of speakers that one can expect if they are in attendance. Okay, so we've got speakers predominantly South African. Mm -hmm. um, we've invited speakers from the Netherlands, from Germany, from the US, and from Nigerian. Uganda. They are all primarily working in agriculture in different spheres. Some are professors at universities, um, UJ and FITS particularly. They are looking at how to you know, teach students new ways of um, doing agriculture. Mm -hmm. The speakers who are coming from Europe are primarily looking at technology because that's where farming has gone very high tech. Mm -hmm. um, the speakers coming from other parts of the continent, which is Uganda and Nigeria, they are mainly looking at farming at a very small scale. It's two women, they are both farmers and they are both um, scientists. Um, so that's really the, the mix. We yeah. have small-scale farmers, we have economists um, who have um, you know, done a lot of work in the country on the economics of farming. So it, it's, it's a mix, it's yeah. a broad mix that really talks to 
all aspects so of So if I'm watching at home and I want to um, attend a talk like this, what is the criteria? Is there some sort of special club that I need to be a part of? Give us more <laughs> details around uh, the event. The events are really open to the public. Okay. We sell tickets through a platform called Quicket. We have a website. It's a, a platform through? Quicket. Quicket, okay. Yes. We have a website, it's um, tedxjohannesbeck.co.za and on our website you can buy tickets to attend. Okay. We also have possibilities of, you know, getting corporates to buy tickets for students or entrepreneurs who can then get sponsored to attend the events. But they're really generally open okay. to the public. And just on that note, what is your buy-in from students that you've seen in, in talks that you've hosted? Very low, which is unfortunate. I was listening to the conversation about um, free education just yeah. before the show. And I think for me, you know, we, we have a lot of students on campus, these two campuses uh, particularly, who go to school hungry. And we have students who finish their degrees and go back home and they have these huge loans, but they can't get work. You know, so I think for me, as someone who's in the space where we're saying, what are the new technologies? Where are the new jobs going to be? I'm hoping that we'll get a better, you know, appreciation for, you know, attending conferences mm -hmm. by students. We chose Brownfontein because Brownfontein is primarily yeah. a student town. Well, let's um, hope so. Uh, President Saramaphosa says that he's hoping to create one million jobs over the next three years. Hopefully farming and agriculture will be included in his uh, three-year plan. Thank you very much for joining us this morning, of course, uh, Kelo. And that was Kelo Kubi from TEDx Johannesburg talking to us about uh, the upcoming talks called Hack the Farm. It is set to be taking place. And of course, she has given details there as to how one would be able to join one of the, one of the talks and be in attendance.